Drugs and Operation Deception, a cocaine investigation that resulted in the arrest of three Providence police officers. Tonight, Providence's mayor is backing off his controversial order for mandatory random drug testing throughout the police force after meeting strong resistance from the police officers' union. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from the police headquarters with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Yes, less than 48 hours after ordering random drug testing for all Providence police officers, Mayor David Cicilline said today, in effect, never mind. To random drug testing at the Providence Police Department. It was a shock at City Hall on Monday when Mayor David Cicilline ordered random drug testing for all Providence police officers. One of those steps and it was another shock at police headquarters today when the mayor withdrew his order. And so this morning, I've directed the chief to table random drug testing. Today's reversal came after the police union rejected the idea, which came in response to the arrest last week of three police officers on felony drug charges. The police union argued random drug testing for police officers or anyone in Rhode Island is illegal. Was ordering random drug testing an overreaction in the heat of the moment, no. looking back on it now in retrospect? Looking back on it in retrospect based on sort of how people heard it and reacted to it was clearly a mistake. Um, I'd never intended to convey to anyone anything other than tremendous confidence and the great men and women of this department. Deputy Police Chief Paul Kennedy echoed that view. Three officers are accused of being bad apples, but the barrel is not rotten. The baloney that we've endured over the last several days is an aberration and not indicative of the men and women of this fine police department. And I, for one, trumpet what they do every day. Putting aside the question of random drug testing, this scandal definitely has hurt the morale on the police force. A union leader reveals how so, coming up new at 6. Live at police headquarters with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.